Hi, howdy, how the hell y'all doing? I'm Tip Mayo, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of my Halloween map, Escape Demon's Dungeon, where you're going to have to escape, well, obviously from a dungeon that is possessed by demons. So, we're going to go ahead and load into this, do a quick walkthrough. This is actually going to be more like a speed run, but I'm going to show you where everything is, show you how to get through the whole map. That way you guys can have a better chance, because it is a really hard map. So, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. There's some jump scares, a bunch of different characters to interact with, and they come after you. So, let's go ahead and get in and see what we got. Alright, so when you load in, you can read that over there, get an overview of the map. We're going to go ahead and get a flashlight, because it's dark, and pick up our batteries. And you can either switch between first or third person. We'll go ahead and stay in first person for this one. First thing we're going to do... I know where everything is, obviously, so I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do things a little bit out of order, but I'll show you how it goes, because you might have to go back and search for some stuff, but either way, we're going to come over here, and we're going to talk to the mentor, as you can see, he has no eyes. You help me see. Yeah, he's spooky. So, we're going to go ahead and jump up here and get some of the hidden items that y'all might have missed. So first thing we're going to grab is right here on top of this skull, we got one of the mechanical gears, and then on over here we have some ore. Uh, we're going to take this ore and we're going to do something with it. There's a table down here, you're going to find it, if you don't have the ore, you'll see. We'll, we'll explain that as we get there, but we're going to go ahead and go this way. Um, like I said, I'm going to sprint, I'm going to speed run it a little bit. So there's our demon that roams the hallways. He's going to be right on our tail in no time, so we've got to book it, get down here as soon as we can, and cut in this room, and then he must have been right behind us, otherwise he would have passed by now. He's pretty fast and spooky. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the animations a little bit more too, now that it's approved with the new assets, but we can go ahead and go into this room here, find us another battery that we're going to need later, and then over here we've got this table with sticks on it, so if we drop this ore... So you can see if you came to this table without it, it's going to tell you that if you had something, you could craft a hammer. So go ahead and pick this up, and then boom, we got us a hammer. So then we're going to go over here, make sure you're looking up, obviously, because up here is another mechanical gear. So now that we got the hammer, the mechanical gear, all that, we're going to head over this way. Make sure we don't run into our friend, a little demon that runs through the hallways. As you can see down here, we've got a clock. How do clocks run? Well, they run on batteries. So let's go ahead and take the battery out of that clock. I don't know what that glitch was, but that's all right. That was in the video, not the game. So then we're going to want to go up here again, find us another mechanical gear. Then we're going to have to head back. We need to go get some more batteries. Oh, and there he is. So he got us. So we got to start back at our spawn point, our safe, our safe space. So now we're going to head out. It actually makes it a little bit easier because this gets us to the other side of the map. So we're going to head over here to this room that we skipped the first time going through. We've got to try to make sure we don't run into him. Alright, and then here's the other room. You're going to want to look up. Like I said earlier, we got to do a little parkour. Get over here to this little area. And as you can see right here, I wish we had something to break through. If you went to this before you got the hammer, you'd have to go find out how to get a hammer. We're going to grab these batteries and go ahead and break through this wall since we already have the hammer. It's a little bit easier in uh, third person view, but the first person adds something to it, I think. So now we got us another mechanical gear and a button that does something. We'll learn about that, maybe, later. That door is locked, so as we can see, now we have most of our batteries we got to go get one more and we need five gears as well but the fifth gear is on the second floor so let's go ahead and head this way and hope we don't run into our little friend again all right as you can see down there those uh fire things are lit in torches yeah they're lit now now we can see down this hallway and down here at this last skull play hey, there's some more batteries so now we can take these batteries to a room over here. You can see the scary guy down there heading out, just barely. All right, so we know he's not going to be over here to get us. So now we need to hurry and get to where we're going. Make sure to check out all Mayo's maps, by the way. Just put in hashtag Mayo's maps on any uh, social medias or Google. Uh, as you can see, we dropped four or five batteries. 
and then you get this message. So it looks like we could replace the power cell with the battery. So luckily we've already got the battery. So replace it and that moves. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this power cell. We might need that later and see what's down through these vents. And then we've got some body tables, so tables that have bodies on them. So let's search them and what can we get off the table? Oh my, an eye. That eye looks like something that might help Dementor see. But we need two, so we searched this other table, and now we've got the eyes. So we need to take him back to the mentor and see if he can help us out. So let's hope we don't run into our friend and book it on over there to the mentor. Oh, we almost got him again. He almost got us. All right, let's go ahead and go down here and see what he has to say now that we've helped him out. All right, so let's take this key. Now we can go up to the second floor where we can access that. But a fun little fact here. Go ahead and wait a second. Ah, all right, we had the SCP monster. He attacked us. That made us drop our key. Fun little fact, it's a glitch in uh, Fortnite UEFN that, at least on my map, I don't know if I have something linked that it doesn't like, but it makes it to where after you talk to the Dementor the second time, it locks it to where you can't switch between your flashlight or anything like that. So I had to go ahead and throw in an elimination there, and I thought the jump scare would be the best way to do it. But either way, we went back, we got our key, now we're heading up to the second level. All right, so when we get in this top door up here, I'm gonna show you that if you didn't have the key, it's gonna say you need a key and then all that, and then you use the key. We're gonna go through here and there's gonna be three doors. You're gonna have to go in each of them. If you go in the middle door first, and then you go through the next door through that one, there will be a panel there, but it is not activated. To activate it, we have to go through one of these rooms first, but we're gonna go ahead and go through this one. And as you can see, Penny there pointing over here. What's she pointing at? Ah, spider book. Spiders, one, two, one, two, three. All right, so now we've got some sort of code to go with spiders, so you gotta remember that. As you can see here, we've got the security mode is active, protecting the uh, card, so we got to be very careful. There are traps in here, and you got to go a certain way, otherwise you're going to end up dead. So we'll go ahead and grab this card and make our way back up. And then, like I said, Penny, she points over here, so she's giving you a hint. You're going to need that. That code's going to be helpful. It's going to keep you from being eliminated multiple times. So, now we're going to go over here, and this is what's going to unlock that card reader to get out of Demon's Dungeon. But first, we have a few more things that we have to do. So, we're going to go down this way, and down here, this is an obstacle, so I went ahead and switched it to where you were in third person no matter what. That way, it's easier to do. So, as you can see, we got the spiders down there, and this is the first column. So, one, two, and then the others are named... So there's one, so one, two, one, two, and then three. So that's what the code is for. If you step on any of those other blocks, you're gonna end up in the spider pit. So this panel activates the other panel to allow you to leave. You have to have the power shell to do so. So if you didn't have that, you're gonna have to go back and get it. So we do have it luckily, let's go ahead and install. Well, it worked. We turned the panel on, but we also released another monster. So, now we've got to make our way back up there. But we're almost there. You almost escaped Demon's Dungeon if you made it to this point. So now we've unlocked that. We've got the card. We've just got to make it back up there. So we're going to do so. Unless we run into our friend. And it looks like we're going to make it. Well, just barely. All right, we made it past him. <coughs> All right, so we've been in two out of the three doors up there. So now we're going to go in the third. Let's go ahead and enter here. And then when you go through this next door, there's a panel. 
this panel was not active before we activated that other one with the power cell. And if you come through here without the card, like so, after you've activated it, it's going to let you know that you don't have the card. So we'll go ahead and uh, go get our last uh, mechanical gear as well. But right here, you can go ahead and play this record player. It's uh, pretty fun, pretty neat. I'll leave that for you to do. Go ahead and grab this card, and then, oh, yeah, we've got to grab the last mechanical gear, which is up here in this room. It's like a little storage. It's back in the corner. Go ahead and grab that. We're going to need that here in just a minute. So now I, we have everything we're going to need to escape Demon's Dungeon. Almost. You'll see. So now we've accessed the blast door, and we're able to make it up to another level. So, we're going to go through here, and we've got this little basement area that's locked down as well, which is where we're going to need the gears. So, as you can see, if you show up without the gears, you're not going to be able to use this before you need the missing gear. So, go ahead and get your gears, install them, and then we're into the basement of the mansion. Now, we've got to escape the mansion. The mansion's front door is also locked. It's like there's no escaping this place, but we're right there. So let's go ahead and go up here and check these clothes piles because that is where the card is. Left it in the dirty towels. So now we're going to go back downstairs to that locked door. There is only one way out, one door out of this house. And if you do not have this card, you're going to go over here and it's going to tell you you can't leave. And then now you can. So let's go out here see what this military man's doing. Finally, we're going to be able to get some help. The military, of course they're going to help me. You gotta make sure that if you're playing it in two-player mode, don't leave your friend behind. Subject has escaped the facility. I have them in custody and ready for transport to Island 51. Alright, well I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope this helps you out. If you want to complete this, make sure to favorite and like right there before you exit the map. And I sure appreciate y'all checking it out, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. What the hell are y'all still doing here? Do you not see that stuff down there? Get to clicking. I appreciate y'all. Typical Mayo out.